Hi, everybody. It's Bob and Fran here, and we're advocates for healthy eating, as you know that, as an essential part of healthy aging. So Fran has been asked many times uh, by our viewers as to what products she keeps in the pantry to include in her own personal whole food plant-based cooking. So today we're gonna find out and we have a lot to talk about. So I think you'll enjoy it and please stick around to the end when you'll hear what Fran reveals as her favorite must have item to always have on hand. So let's get started right now. What, what are some of the grains that uh, you particularly need to have on hand in your pantry? Okay, the number one grain would be organic rolled oats. I don't have a package to show you because I used the last one <laughs> this morning and I'm waiting for my next shipment to come in a couple of days. So we use oats about every morning yeah. in France granola. That recipe, by the way, is on our website. Uh, so check it out. It is a fantastic way to start the day. And oats are good yeah. for you. And I do choose to use only organic oats. Um, I question, you know, the, the possibility that a lot of oats grown is genetically modified, and I, I like to avoid that. Okay, the next thing is whole grain pasta. And we eat a, a lot, lot of pasta. pasta. We, we eat love spaghetti, it. penna pasta, macaroni, which is also called elbows, and orzo, which you may not be familiar with. They actually make an or, a whole grain, a um, whole wheat or so, which is very nice to add to soups or uh, other dishes. Yeah, so that's a favorite of ours. We like or so. I like it a lot. And yeah. what about quinoa? We have quinoa too. Yeah, quinoa is kind of a neat product because let me show you. It's considered a grain, but technically it's a seed. And it's wonderful to put in soups or salads. It's, it's really a very tasty uh, grain that you would like uh, to add. I like that quinoa salad that you made yeah, with really veggies good. in it. So uh -huh. it could be a side dish yeah, or a main dish. Exactly. Yeah. Another, uh, you know, we use bulgar. Don't use a whole lot of that. A product that I really love is Vital Wheat Gluten. If you're gluten intolerant, of course, you would avoid this, but we do not have that problem. And this is a wonderful product to use to make vegan meat. Yeah. So we've had... Uh, you may have heard of the word seitan, S-E-I-T-A-N. It's made from v uh, vital wheat gluten. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of products on the market that you could buy ready-made, but it's so easy to make. I made a wonderful roast for the holidays, and I made for New Year's Eve barbecue, barbecue spare ribs. ribs. <laughs> they <laughs> delicious. were delicious, fantastic, and tender and very tasty. It's delicious. Okay, um, there's Israeli couscous, which is a bigger grain than the than the regular couscous. There's whole wheat flour, of course, um, which we use a lot of in baking, especially. And then chickpea flour. Yeah, chickpea flour is kind of a neat flour because you can actually make like an omelet. Oh, yeah. Make a wonderful omelet we for a some, brunch. Yeah, that is really delicious. Yeah, very tasty. We, we use, uh, I think, uh, onions and, uh, and green mushrooms. Pe peppers and, peppers. and mushrooms. It's fantastic. And really a nice breakfast dish. Um, very good uh, addition to our repertoire. Brown rice, of course, we use a lot of brown rice. Um, there's uh, many different kinds on the market. You can buy, well, we're fortunate, and then we have a co-op in our town where we can buy it in bulk or you can buy it in packages. Um, green and red lentils are another wonderful staple in our pantry, particularly to be added to stews or soups. Mm -hmm. Very, very nutritious, lots of fiber. And what about farro? Farro okay. we discovered maybe a year or two ago. Yeah. And I love it as a side yeah. dish. Farro is kind of a new grain for us. Very, very tasty, really good with mushrooms and onions to make as a side dish with our meat, <laughs> our seitan meat. Our fake meat. Yeah. Uh, so this is really tasty. 
Let's move on to uh, nuts and seeds, okay. which are essential for our own personal yeah. uh, eating. Now, uh, in my um, granola recipe, I use a lot of nuts and seeds, uh, and I use only raw, and uh, they're really uh, at a lot. What you want to do is add a lot of fiber to your diet because fiber is the key to keeping your gut healthy, your weight down, and doing so without being hungry all the time. Mm -hmm. So, so and a couple, few interesting seeds I want to share with you are chia seeds, which are really healthy and very high in fiber. Mm -hmm. and and very beneficial to your health. In, in my research, I see where chia seeds is like at the top of the yeah. list for fiber. And uh, we use it yeah. on, every day in our cereal, I think. Yeah, it's in our cereal, but you can also sprinkle it on salad, mm -hmm. uh, as well as hemp seeds, same mm -hmm. type of thing. And uh, once these are open, once seeds are open, you wanna keep them in your fridge uh, so that they don't get rancid. Now, one that's really, really important to our health is flaxseed. And we buy flaxseed meal. It's already ground up. You can buy flax seeds and grind it up yourself. But that's a lot of work. And this is a wonderful product. But once Again, once it's open, you can keep it in the refrigerator or the freezer so it doesn't go bad. And it's really, really important to your health. Could you talk about all the different nuts that we eat? Oh, uh, well, we, we like walnuts, pecans, cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, sun, and the sunflower seeds, of course. Yeah. All mixed into our morning granola. So I have to say that when Fran cooks, it's just not a bunch of brown rice <laughs> on a, on a platter all. topped with some steamed vegetables. These are very high flavor, delicious and interesting dishes. Again, you can get a lot of Fran's recipes at our website, they're all free, but she uses a lot of terrific spices. So could you yeah, mention I'll, some I'll of those? I'll just mention some. Uh, of course, we use some Himalayan sea salt and black pepper. Cayenne is a kind of pepper and there's chili pepper. There's cinnamon, garlic, onion powder, turmeric. Oh, turmeric. Yeah. We eat a lot of that. Yeah, we like a lot of um, Asian, uh, not Asian, but Indian dishes. So I use garam masala, curry powder, cumin, and then there's paprika, smoked paprika, oregano, thyme, basil, and of course we use vanilla in some of our baking. So we're going through a lot of <laughs> items right now, yeah. but I want to tell you that we're going to have, if you want to a list of them, just let us know in the comment section and we'll, we'll uh, provide a list on our website so that you could access uh, all these foods that we're talking about, all the stuff that right. Fran keeps in the pantry. Now, so what my friends, just a quick break here. Bob and I are very concerned about the dangerous chemicals in our drinking water and how they can ruin our health. So for several years, we've been using this convenient and economical AquaTrue tabletop reverse osmosis system in our kitchen to transform our tap water into filtered and purified water. No installation or plumbing is needed, and the result is pure, delicious water. So we urge you to click on the AquaTrue link in the description below and see for yourself how this can add so much to your healthy lifestyle and longevity. Please invest in your health now. Great. Now, so what about canned foods? We eat some, okay. we eat some canned foods. Okay, I know that a lot of people like to buy uh, their beans dry mm -hmm. and cook them themselves, and that's great, but I have never done that. What I do is I buy organic <laughs> beans, oh, like kidney beans and um, uh, black, black beans, beans yeah. but one that we really love are garbanzo beans, which are also called chickpeas. Mm -hmm. And they're very, very um, useful in a lot of different dishes. You can eat them. You can actually roast them or air fry them to make for a snack. But I use them mostly for hummus. And then you can take the, um, the liquid in the can and pour it into a separate container. It's called aquafaba. And if you beat it with an egg beater, excuse the expression, 
um, you can actually make like whipped cream out of it. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool. That means we don't eat eggs, but, <laughs> but we do use the yeah. aqua fiber and aqua, aqua faba. Faba. faba fiber. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's, this is a great product and there's a lot of different wonderful recipes with garbanzo beans. Um, now here's something that you may not know about, or maybe you're just hearing about. It's called jackfruit. Jackfruit is very um, unique in that when you shred it, you can make it into like a meat, like, uh, like chicken. I actually have a recipe that I made, a friend gave me for Fantastic. chicken salad oh with God. jackfruit and walnuts and um, some other ingredients. It's really tasty. And uh, there's what you want to do if you buy jackfruit is to buy it in water, not in syrup. And from what I could tell, it's only sold at this time in Asian food markets. Mm -hmm. So if you have one near you, check out this product. It's really very versatile. Mm -hmm. A couple other things that I wanted to mention um, is that um, if you buy canned products, I would recommend that you buy ones that don't have BPA in, you know, there's, you want BPA proof cans for free, tomato, BPA, free, free cans yeah. for tomatoes. And then I buy some organic corn. Uh, we like olives and um, just a variety of different things, but mostly we don't use a lot of cans. Now there's a couple products that I want to mention to you. Um, That's in the miscellaneous category. Miscellaneous. Okay, this is one of them. This is shelf-stable tofu. Now, you know that tofu is usually sold in the refrigerator section of supermarkets. But shelf-stable tofu comes in a box on the shelf. And the reason I like to have some on hand is, number one, if you run out of the refrigerator kind and you can't get to the store, you can have this on your shelf, but it's especially good for making low fat mayo, which is because um, mayonnaise is very fattening, the regular store bought, and it's delicious for chocolate pudding. Oh, yeah, we had that chocolate pudding last night. Yeah, it was fantastic. I wanted to ask one other thing. I don't think that I think we forgot to put it on the list. I could be wrong. And, uh, and that is the uh, the tofu that's in. Uh, oh yes, there is a wonderful product called soy curls. Yes, and it comes in a package. Actually, it's very strange. You can only buy it online. It yes. is not sold in any stores. The manufacturer is Butler, and one I, I think I buy it in three or four packages at a time. And one package can last for months and months because you use very little. You can use it in stir fries. You can use it in chicken soup. Uh, you can use it in many different ways. Yeah. And then the crumbled up part at the bottom of the bag is perfect for making barbecue beef. Yeah. So it's a very versatile and it's minimally processed because all that's in it is soy. You know, I love those barbecue beef yeah, sandwiches you that you make. <laughs> So yeah, she makes those barbecue beef sandwiches with French fries and yeah. coleslaw. It's a great meal. Yeah. And it's a really good product. And we'll add it to the list. Okay. And you can access this list. Yeah. Just uh, be sure to yeah. comment saying that you do want that. In addition to the shelf stable tofu that I like to have on hand for emergencies, I also like to have shelf stable uh, plant milk mm. on hand in case, again, the weather or health prohibits you from getting to the supermarket. Or if they don't have any, they run out, they're out yeah. of stock. So right. that is milk that can stay on the shelf yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Again, the same thing as the, as the shelf stable tofu. Some other items that are really important in our pantry are mustard and ketchup, organic corn starch and tapioca starch. Those are great for making a vegan cheese. And then, of course, baking powder and baking soda. Uh, we use a lot of rice vinegar in Asian dishes. Tahini, which is a soy a sesame seed uh, paste, 
is wonderful for a lot of different recipes. Um, there's organic popping corn and uh, we have a, a, one of those air poppers so we can pop our corn. And in a minute, I'll tell you what we sprinkle on it. There's buckwheat pancake mix, which is delicious. You, and if you have a, a pan that's uh, nonstick, you can make pancakes without oil. You know that we are anti-oil as much as possible. And then of course, golden raisins I put in my um, oats in the morning, you know, for the granola. We have organic cocoa powder, which we are both chocoholics. And so we love our chocolate desserts. Yeah, but you're also sort of hooked on these. Uh, oh, medjol these dates. Da- these yeah. dates. And those are really healthy. <laughs> the problem is to not eat too many. <laughs> and of course, we like a, a good salsa. One thing that we absolutely have to have in our pantry at all times <laughs> is some organic, oil free pasta sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, this, the, all these, we're fortunate enough to have in all these nearby, and they have actually have three different flavors of organic, oil-free pasta sauce. It's really so, good stuff. I know a lot of people like to make their pasta sauce from scratch. I buy this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, friend. Now well, you thanks. Been... No. Yeah. It's da da. It's time <laughs> for you to reveal your top must-have in the pantry item, and what is Let that? Let me get it for you. <laughs> This is nutritional yeast, which you may or may not have heard of. Uh, This happens to be Bragg nutritional yeast, but you don't have to buy that brand. Actually, we're fortunate in that our co-op carries nutritional yeast in a bulk section, so I can buy it that way. This is the secret ingredient for people who love cheese, because this added to menus gives you that cheesy flavor, whether you're making Parmesan cheese, and I say Parmesan loosely because there's no Parmesan in my cheese, you can use this to sprinkle on popcorn, the air popped popcorn, uh, and it gives it a cheesy flavor. This is wonderful in all of your vegan cheese recipes. Absolutely a must have, any brand will do. And it's supposed to be kept in a cool place. So um, it lasts for months and months, although we use it too fast for it to last that long. So we'd like to hear from you. If you would like uh, to add your ideas of products that you keep in your pantry. Yeah, we're always looking for new ideas. But uh, also, please, if you want this complete list, please let us know. Just say, send me the list or get me the list. And... uh, We'll do that. We're probably the easiest way is to add it to uh, our uh, our website at Bob and Fran. That's B O B N as a Nancy Fran dot com, and uh, we'll we'll put a link in the uh, description for you below. I think you can tell from just these few minutes that there is nothing boring about the way we eat. There are tons of things that you can eat that are healthy, nutritious, and free of animal products. So thanks for your support, your subscribing, your liking us, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.